Megan, President Trump is on pace in his first year to surpass former President Obama's spending on travel for his entire eight years. The president plans to spend the Easter holiday in Florida. Becoming president, Trump has spent six weekends, 21 days in total at his club in Florida. The total price tag of those trips, $21.6 million, paid for by taxpayers. That's more than any president before him. The White House is playing defense. Presidents always travel. The president, wherever he goes, uh, he carries the apparatus for the White House with us. That is just something that happens. Us are also climbing around the president's Trump Tower in New York City. While he hasn't traveled there as president yet, it's still First Lady Melania and their son Barron's home. New York City officials say it costs more than $100,000 a day to protect them. The Secret Service is now weighing in, saying they're stretched thin covering the Trump family. In the first two months of Trump's presidency, his adult children traveled to Vancouver, Dubai, Uruguay, and Aspen, bringing their own Secret Service agents with them. The agency says they've had to pull dozens of Secret Service from around the country from their normal criminal investigations to work for two-week rotations to protect members of the Trump family. The Homeland Security Secretary admits the burden. That's why he's requesting additional funding from Congress. But they need a lot more agents, not just because of, of, the, of the Trump uh, uh, error, if you will, although that is additional because he's got a lot of children, grandchildren. We need a larger Secret Service uh, because we need to get some of these people okay. a little bit of time at home with their families. First Lady Melania and four of the president's children are joining him in Florida this weekend. The White House hasn't announced details about Trump's Easter schedule yet, but last year he attended services at the Episcopal Church of Palm Beach. That's where he married his wife back in 2005, Megan.